Kurt here with Airsoft Taiwan. Today I'd like to introduce a cool new pistol from G&G Armaments called the Piranha SL. And we're going to take a look first at what's in the box. So when we open the box up here, it's got a magnetic flip front. First of all, you see we have a manual and this manual has many different languages, uh, Chinese, English, Spanish, and um, very nice colored manual in depth shows you a lot about the gun. Now when we first open up we see some new features that G&G Armaments have, has released on this gun. So first of all it has a really unique hop-up system and makes it very easy to adjust. Now you get a keychain with it that's got this small fragmenting 9mm shell and you actually use that in the end of the barrel and it has 120 different positions for very quick easy hop-up adjustment in the field. Secondly, it states they've used a better valve. They say that lasts three times longer in the magazine and it also fills three times faster. So it's a larger valve and it works better. Finally here, it says they use a ceramic cylinder valve inside. So you get better, I guess, response time with it. And you can use it from what I understand in colder temperatures because it won't frost up like a aluminum or metal valve. So we're going to open up the box here and see what's inside. So when you open it up, you see this one is their all black pistol compared to the one we have on our side, which is a two tone. And we'll take a look at them both in a moment. You get a standard full aluminum 25 round magazine. Of course, you get your hop up adjustment in here. This one's a little more difficult to get out of here. Your hop up adjusting tool, which looks like a small fragmenting 9mm round. Comes with also a speed loader. And that one's in there really good, so I'm going to take her out here. You and Bob. Your speed loader for filling your magazines. And finally, you get this really unique extended mag with looks like actual 9mm rounds inside. It's see-through. Uh, there's only one disadvantage to this mag. It's a single stack, so it's actually only a 20-round magazine compared to the short one that's 25. But it does have a very unique look when it's in the gun. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the two pistols now. These gas blowback pistols are available. One is available in all black. And another one is available in two-tone where it has a polished side and its spiral barrel is also a nice uh, polished aluminum. So quickly, I'm just going to take this one to start out with and we're going to just take a look over the gun and see some of the features. Now, first of all, you can see there's a small push button safety on the trigger here. And uh, so that's your safety to lock the trigger open. Next, you can see there's a very long Picatinny rail in the front for mounting your flashlights, lasers, whatever you have. Now, I have a one at home that has a finger switch to turn on and off, so that one, you would have to mount it further back here, or if there's something that has a button on, you can mount them further up. But if you want to access it to your finger, you'd have to mount it on the back rail. And you'll see after that these are two separate rails. This front one is aluminum, and where it stops here, this is composite body in the back. Now, quickly looking at some of the features on here, we have a red fiber optic front sight and green fiber optic rear sights. When, when you look at them in the light, they're really bright. Now you can see when we open the slide here, that only half of the slide opens on this pistol. And the front of the slide and the barrel are stationary, which usually the barrel is stationary, but the slides, usually the whole things will move. Now one thing that's nice about this, the smaller the slide in the back, is it's a lot more efficient on the amount of gas it needs to cycle it back and forth. So you should be able to cycle your gas longer. Now once you have your slide back, we have a very easy and convenient way to remove the barrel. You just flip this forward, take off your lock, and it will come out. Little spring comes out here, and your slide will separate. Now you can see this front part here with the barrel in alum is all aluminum, and so is the back part of the slide. In here, we can also see, slightly see the ceramic valve that they were talking about to keep it from being frosted up. Now again, we're just gonna slide it back together. It's very easily assembled. Just a quick look at the front part here. It's very nicely 
made. All the lines are very straight. The edges are very nice. Just quickly slide it back together here. Simple again, your spring goes into here and it should just slide easily back into place. Once you have it back to that opening there, close it up and your gas blowback pistol is back together. Okay, this new magazine has a neat feature where you can pull it down and it will actually lock into place there. You can see so it's easier to load it and then after you can just release the spring and it will go back. So we're going to use the quick loader that comes with it and just quickly load up the magazine. Now this one hasn't been used before. So now that it's loaded we're going to fill with green gas. Now it says it fills quite quickly so we'll see what we're at there. Now <clears throat> we're going to go to the screen here and we're going to test the FPS on this uh, Pistol. Okay, so I fired three rounds there. You can see we're getting around 100 meters per second. Right, so we run through a whole magazine you can see towards the end it's slowed down to about 90 meters per second and uh, you can see it's locked open nicely when the magazine has finished okay now you can see I've loaded up the extended magazine which is only 20 rounds as it's a single stack and uh, we're just gonna put it in the gun to show you kind of the aesthetics what it looks like so once you've got it loaded you see you've got a very unique look you've got an extended see-through magazine here you can see some of the rounds out the bottom here and we're just going to quickly fire it it's kind of a cool looking pistol and again once the magazine's empty it locks open now this half slide look i think looks very cool when it's locked open it's a very unique gun special and the addition of this see-through magazine with the round showing is really quite a interesting looking gun. Okay, now we're going to test the new Piranha SL gas blowback pistol for accuracy. Now I've chosen to use the extended mag, maybe just for balance or it's a little more fun. Now you can see because the barrel is a little longer than some of your pistols, we should maybe expect some better accuracy out of it, but we'll see. So I'm just going to put 10 rounds on the target there and we'll see what kind of grouping we can get. Okay, let's go over and take a look at the target here. I'm really impressed, that's only at about five meters, but you can see our grouping on here is incredibly tight. Almost everything touching actually cut a circle out of our target, so it's really accurate at that distance. Okay, so before we close up here, you can see from our tests that uh, the gun is very accurate. It's uh, very consistent from about around that 300, 330 feet per second. And um, I just wanna point out some interesting stuff at the end here. We have the Piranha marking on the handle here, and the handle fits very nice. We have GNG armaments here, and we have a little Piranha logo also on here. On this side, we have the 9mm by 19, and it's just a very nicely finished gun. I have to say, it feels really good. It's got nice weight to it, and it feels really nice when you're shooting it. So if you want to add a new gas blowback handgun to your collection, and you want something that's quite unique and different, then maybe this is the gun for you. And if you want something like this, it's available now on our Airsoft Taiwan online shop.